thank you, John, for doing our Thursday night seminar again. We, as usual, we had a great turnout. A lot of people interested in the catfishing out here on Lake Mendota. And uh, this year we're doing something different. We've got a, uh, our website. We're going to have a, a, a pros tip section there. And we're going to try to collect tips from some of our speakers that we can share with our web audience. So anyway, I'm going to have you do a special for our uh, web audience, an exclusive uh, web special, a web tip that we're going to put into our uh, pros tip section there. And uh, we'll see what you want to share with the, with the fellows this year. Well, Gene, in the seminar we were talking about catfishing and uh, different baits and uh, uh, techniques for catching the catfish. And one of the most important things that uh, I've discovered about catching catfish is the hook that I'm using. And the hook is a circle hook. And the circle hook has been a very popular item in salt water for years and years and years for people that want to catch fish and release fish without them being harmed. And the circle hook is kind of unique. If you look at the shape of the hook, the actual point of the hook angles back towards the shank. All right. Now, a typical J-hook has the point going straight up in the air, and you haul back and set the hook about as hard as you can to penetrate the fish's mouth, regardless of the type of fish you have. This hook right here is a little large for the smaller fish, but for catfish, uh, I use the same type of hook fishing in Florida for tarpon. And the way this hook works is if this was a fish's mouth and I had the line tied on here, if you set the hook, the hook comes right out. It's not stuck in my finger. The way the circle hook works is that by just reeling on your line and not setting your hook, it will slowly pull this hook over into the corner of the fish's mouth and embed it in the very tough jaw muscles in the side of the fish's mouth and it's very easy to take the hook out because it's not buried down in the fish's stomach or in his gills you don't kill fish this way and it actually they hook themselves now the circle hooks come in a lot of different sizes that's a little small one I don't know if you can see that that's about a five on that's good for the larger fish this little circle hook would be fine for walleyes and for smallmouth bass and for largemouth bass when you're life baiting, fishing for minnows. Um, it possibly could work on crappies. It's a little too big for bluegills. But the nice thing about this, if you're into catch and release, you can catch them and you can release them without harm to the fish, which you can't say with a J hook. A treble hooks are your worst hook because Besides, they have, they're small, a lot of them are small, and they have a tendency to swallow them, and they're down in their stomach, and it tears up the fish badly and, and often kills the fish you wanted to release. The J hooks happens the same way. More often than not, those hooks get caught in their gills. And that, when you take that hook out of their gills, you damage the gills if that fish is bleeding, its survival weight goes down. With a circle hook, you got about a 99% survival rate because that hook never gets down in their stomach. And if you think you got a turtle or some other, something you don't want, then just haul off and set that circle hook as hard as you can, because it's gonna come flying right back at you. It's not gonna stick in their mouth. Don't set the hook. Slowly crank, take out the slack, and then just start winding them in, and the hook does all the work for you.